I go beyond and above, you must do the same if you're made in my image. Now, since my greatest expression of going above and beyond is Calvary that I may forgive you, you must do the same thing. We must be willing to go above and beyond the extra mile to settle differences in the church. I was speaking in England many, many years ago. I was speaking on forgiveness. I was doing a week of prayer. A lady got up and walked out. I didn't notice, you know, in the frenzy of the preaching, I didn't observe she walked out. Several weeks later, an email came to me. When you were preaching, I walked out. I couldn't take it because I have something against a either half-sister, adopted sister or something. For years she had this gripe because when she was a child, I believe the father remarried and the daughter of the new mother did not treat her well. She thought the father, whatever, she had this thing and the, she had this grudge against this stepsister. Carried it for years, going to church every Sabbath. But God goes the extra mile, the extra mile, until he finally catches you. And that weaker prayer caught her. Oh, even though she walked out, but she said, the spirit walked out with me. <laughs> and would not leave me alone. She said, I made attempts to find that stepsister. Finally, I got a number, whatever it was, made contact to talk to her, only to discover she had been trying for years to find me. To apologize. Not only that, but in the process of time, she had become, come on, a Seventh-day Adventist. <laughs> she said, we cried, we cried, we cried. And the subject heading of that email was, I am free. Medicate yourself. Remove the handcuffs that keep you from being who you really are. Remove the shackles. Forgive someone who's hurt you. Your classmate who laughs at your hair, laughs at your shoe, forgive him or her. 